Send it to the House. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. I call the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. You're Chairman, welcome. I, I rise and I'm, I'm very happy to take a call on this bill. And, and if you have a look at it, it might look like a doorstop, but actually, reading through it, um, I, I feel it's more like a finger in the dike of the, the financial challenges facing the world at the moment. And, and Labor does support it um, because it's necessary. But then I go through and, and read um, that the bill doesn't uh, adjust current legislation in regarding insider trading or market manipulation and security holder disclosure and, and continuous disclosure um, provisions. And, and I'm concerned that perhaps it doesn't go far enough but it is a step in the right direction. I have to acknowledge um, predecessor, the Honourable Leanne Dalziel, who initiated this process. And, and the Capital Markets Development Task Force in 2008 that gave rise to this legislation was necessary because there has been a lack of faith in the capital markets in this country for very good reason, because small investors have, quite frankly, been ripped off time and time and time again. This legislation is necessary. It makes a huge number of changes. But as I point out to the Minister, I am concerned that some key provisions in commerce law and disclosure requirements have been omitted from major change and improvement. And that may, in a small country like New Zealand, continue to provide uncertainty and a lack of trust although, uh, as I say, it goes a long way. Mr Chairman, I'd just like to um, ask the, the Minister, I guess, um, uh, we can, as politicians, uh, <coughs> I think, uh, make judgment in this area. Uh, we, we're next to car salesmen and, I guess, financial advisors in terms of the reputation. Um, and so we can look at one another um, very, very critically and ask, why aren't we doing better? And, and if I go to, to the area of, of false and misleading representations, Clause 19 here, um, of, of the SOP, I have to say that, that um, it's really concerning that, that we have people, we've had people, I guess, we're making changes, um, that, that have been able to get away for this, with this for so long. We are making changes. Um, one of the things I question is how bank employees will be treated under Clause 19 um, if, about, for products that have any sponsorship, approval, endorsement, performance characteristics, accessories, uses or benefits. Look, it's well known in the, in the banking sector that, of course, there are bonuses for people. And one particular area that I am pursuing and the Commerce Commission is currently looking at is that of swap loans. There are financial products that have been offered um, not, not, as we've often referred to here, in taking people's money for investment, but this is actually financial products providing capital. In a similar way, though, and I presume they will be under this umbrella, under this legislation, then indeed I, I want to know that, um, well, firstly the question is if the Commerce Commission does indeed identify some false or misleading activity, will those banks or the individuals involved be, be um, I guess, challenged through this legislation or the previous legislation. So the issues of timing there that I think are quite important. And um, I think that, that um, having disclosed perhaps at the end of this year, early next year, um, the question of what process will then follow the banks that, in my view, have indeed engaged in false and misleading information in the sale of swap loans to a large number of farmers, some small business people, some horticulturalists across this country. And uh, I await um, the outcome of the Commerce Commission investigations uh, with some enthusiasm, because unless we get on top of those products, and unless we pass this legislation, which is indeed why Labor is supporting it, we'll continue to have small investors who lose their life savings, people who use financial products that are unsuitable. Um, but the question, as I so go back to for the Minister, um, is why haven't we perhaps improved the uh, areas of disclosure, insider trading uh, and market manipulation? We indeed 
have a small country. Um, the, the objective of getting more, um, I guess, more uh, uh, trades onto the capital markets is a good idea. Initiated by my colleague, I don't think she intended it to go far, so far as the, the current government has gone, and that is selling state-owned enterprises and anything it can get <coughs> its hands on. <coughs> Chairman. I call the Honourable David Cunningham. Uh, Mr Chairman, uh, rise to take a short call in support of the Financial Markets Conduct Bill, having enjoyed working with colleagues on it in select.